everybody we are live we're here at the comic book shop gonna have a fun day before we get started just want to tell you guys we will be live on whatnot tonight so if you guys are interested in joining us tonight on the whatnot stream we will be live around like 7 p.m eastern and then we did get the dates for the uh, the house sale so it's uh what is it i think the 27th of next month we're gonna do so it's on the instagram if you guys are interested to take a look at that but let's get started with the week hope you guys are having a wonderful new comic book day we did just end the megacon videos too so i hope you guys enjoyed them what do we got over here ghostbusters number one new movie came out Ghostbusters back in town. New Garbage Pail Kids issue four. The poly bag. I like how sometimes they put, yeah, this one has the cards in them. Like the poly bag has the card in it. Uh, pretty cool. Conan the Barbarian. I like how they do these virgin variants. What's up, Douglas? Omar, good morning, everybody. Look at that Conan cover. That one's pretty sick there. Yeah. Issue nine variant. What the? Not more. Highlight of my Wednesday. What's up, everybody? Thanks for hanging out. We got another one of the Joker. Oh, I got to grab a... Oh, wow, I just realized these are all different printings. So you have 142. Is that a third printing? Yeah, that's a third printing on 142. They have a second print on 143. And then there's the... Wow. I guess that's been a pretty good run. The Batman. Good morning, Cog. What's up, everybody? We're here for New Comic Book Day. It's a pretty busy week, too. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of the Mark Brooks headshot variants. We will be uh, live on Whatnot today, too. We haven't been live in a while, so we're going to do a little power hour, probably from like 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. And then we, uh, we got the house sale date, finally. You guys are going to see some videos of some cool books we got in some new collections. So... Keep an eye out on the channel. This is, is this number one. Yeah, it is. Goon. Number one. Green Arrow, issue 10. That's on cover. Daredevil, issue 7. John Romita Jr. cover. What's up, Nate? Good morning, everybody. We got Batman. Dark Age. Yeah, I hope everyone's able to grab what they're looking for. Yeah. The Mio cover. Uh, that one's pretty crazy, too. The Man Bat. Yeah. That's cool. 1 in 25. That's so funny you bring that up. I was talking to him yesterday, and he told me to grab one of those. <laughs> 1 in 25. No. This is a cool one here. What is the first appearance of Lex Luthor? It's like uh, Action Comics 23. 23, wow. Early one. From Essex, good afternoon, Russell. Or good morning, actually, I should say. <laughs> this is a nice cover here, too. With all the different Batman. Pick some winners for us. You guys always know I'm trying to pick the, the good stuff. I'm trying to stay away from the cover buys and going more for the stories and stuff. The new Wolverine came out today. That's been pretty good. I think, um, I don't know. I kind of want to grab those Jokers from the Batman, but I don't remember which ones I have, if I'm being honest. So, are you sure? I want to, I don't want to grab a duplicate. The Duke. Then they do it one. Oh, we're on third printing. A number one, wow. Second print number two. I've been doing this for a long time. And you got issue number four. Duke's been a pretty popular title, huh? Here's Gods. This has been a good read, too. The Mark Brooks cover. Have you seen any ASM 20? I don't think so, but we'll take a look at everything. The new Gods. This is the 1 in 25. Get Duke Exploding variant. What is that? This one? The Explosion. One in ten on number four. Dungeons and Dragons. Saturday morning, Dungeons and Dragons. Did you really come in here trying to grab three books? No, they're, 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 they're over there. <laughs> you know that's not possible. <laughs> you know what I love? Black Hammer. A great thing about buying books. Surfer. The Expanse Dragon Tooth from Boom Studios. 
So that 12 issue limited series. Eden Frost. That's a pretty cool cover. It's the Duke 1 in 25. I don't think they got the 1 in 25 in. Looks like they just got the 1 in 10. Here's the new Grim Fairy Tales by Xenoscope. I was looking for like a limited one. They don't seem to have any. These are really nice covers though. Yeah, oh, I got one too. Feral number one. This is the new, new hot yeah. book this Speaking week. Speaking of Feral, shout out to Miller. Yes, <laughs> Feral. <laughs> that, was, that was a mean shout out. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. He doesn't linger. What is that? Harley Quinn issue 38. The Dodson cover is pretty nice. This one's really nice, oh, yeah, too. The, the women. Although, Dustin Wynn's... One in ten. Yeah, a lot of those feral covers. The Cable. Headshot. The Wills Portacio cover is pretty cool, too. That is Wills, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Nice one. That'd be great. Cemetery. Kids Don't Die. What is that? Hellblazer? Oh, it's the new number one on Hellblazer. Dead in America. Oh, yeah. I'm down. I'm so down. Looks like they just got a cover A, though. John Constantine. What Constantine? Let's see what else we got over here. Chopping block. Christopher. Chaos. You can or I can take him whatever you want. Yeah, the headshot covers are cool. I wish they would have done some, some, like, added some more detail, though, to them. I think that one. Like a. More of the body, you know. I think when I Forgotten up, Runes, like, Wizard Cult, cover, so Flash <laughs> number seven. Um, I think that's the only reason What's that down that here? Just Invasive number four. Then, oh, and here's some more of those Xenoscope covers. Number three. At least I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, Let's I don't see, we got over here. What is this preview? Doctor Who preview. Well, this thing's pretty cool. What is this thing? Oh, it's plugged in. Does this thing make noise? Is there a button I'm supposed to press? We'll find out later. <laughs> See anything else over here? That's cool. Alright, let's get back to the comics. It's a busy week. Look out. Look at these shelves. Is it the new salmon twitch out? Yes, it is. I did grab. Two of each. Oh, I almost missed Street Fighter down there. Wow, there's a lot of books I missed. Now that I'm looking at Van Helsing. All right, we're going to go through. we got Power Rangers. So here's Jackpot and Black Cat, number one. Cover A, B, and C. Yeah, Miles 300 is today also. Got a foil cover there on the, on the 1 in 25. Who did the 1 in 25? Not sure. Adam Hughes. Which cover did Adam Hughes do? Oh, this one, right? That looks like Adam Hughes. Number one. This is probably the cover of the week, though, for, for Black Cat. There's a lot of nice covers, but you got to go with that uh, that Hildebrandt cover. Oh, really nice. Power Rangers. <laughs> Issue 118 of Power Rangers. you got to love... The Bjorn Barons covers. He's been doing like the zombie rangers. We got Power Girl. Yeah, the Harley cover is really nice too. I grabbed one of those. LexCorp. That's Jay Lee right there. Power Girl. Amazing Spider Man. This is probably my favorite Mark Brooks cover this week. Spider Man's really nice. I like how they match the background with the. The color scheme, you know, like the Hulk, they did the same thing. They got the green head with the purple background. You got John Romita Jr. on, I think that's cover A. And there's cover B, 1 in 25. There's a 1 in 50. How much is a 1 in 50? I do too, DA. I do too. I feel like he took the easy way out for sure. Oh, Thunderbolts issue four. With these Doctor Doom covers are cool. There's a Dodson cover A, but then look at these ones. I don't know who's doing the art on the variant covers, but it's a fun style. You can definitely tell. It looks like painted or something. Nice. Street Fighter. I gotta grab a Street Fighter. 
almost forgot. Do we grab cover A though? Akuma versus Oh, it's a connecting cover set there. I just realized. Well, I don't know if it's connecting, but so what do you do? Do you get this or do you go with the variant? I think I'm gonna get the variant. It's only eleven bucks. This one, the one in twenty-five is cool, the virgin variant. But this is only eleven bucks. As opposed to getting two of these. I'll just get this one here. So let's put that on the stack. And yeah, I hope you guys are uh, having a good morning. We'll be live on whatnot today. I know I sound like a broken record, but Sarah made wanted me to tell everybody. So we'll be live on whatnot. And then the house sale date, it's official. I think it's the same weekend as C2E2. I didn't realize when we made the date. There's so much stuff going on. But yeah, you guys will see the uh, the video from the last house sale coming out soon. That was a lot of fun. Miles issue 300. Cover A. This is a thicker book. It's a $9 cover price. Kind of stinks they did that. You got the what if. This one is probably the top cover, though. The Addy Granov is awesome. Try to get the camera steady there. Look at all those miles in there. Pretty cool. You got the what if. He became the human torch. Yeah, $9. There's a lot of them left up here. I feel like if they would have uh, if they would have left it regular cover price, they would have probably sold out. I don't think they did anything in here either, which is kind of a bummer. Because a lot of times they try to follow what they did with Spider-Man when it comes to Miles. And everybody knows issue 300 of Spider-Man is the first Venom. Well, first, first full Venom, right? So they didn't really do anything special with Miles. The 1 in 25 car injuries is pretty cool. And it's 20, it's 27 bucks. But if you're already paying $10, it's only an extra 17 bucks, And you get the... That's a fun one. Yeah, $9. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a three hundred page spectacular, or not three hundred pages. This is a three hundred, but it's a uh, I think it's like forty eight pages or something, right? I don't know. Maybe it says it on the back. I think yeah, it's it's a thicker book though. It's not a normal size book. The Human Torch Spider. I already grabbed a bunch of them, so I don't want to break the bank with Miles this week. I got one of the cover A, one of these, and then I grabbed the Addy Granoff. So I'm already like thirty dollars deep into Miles. <laughs> This is a book that's new this week, too. The uh, the creators are actually in the shop, which is cool. Maybe we'll talk to them a little bit once we're done going through the books. Here's the new Van Helsing. Still waiting for them to reboot Van Helsing, the movie. I'm a huge fan of the original with Hugh Jackman. Jill and the Killers. Oh, and here's the incentive covers. Are these both 1-in-100s? I don't think I've ever seen that before, where they've dropped 1-in-100s at the same time. Which one would you rather get? The one on the left or the one on the right? Probably. I don't know. This one's nice, though. It's like got a realistic look. I like the birds in the back. Are they going to reboot the movie? Van Helsing, I would love for them to. I'd be first in line. Excited for new Godzilla this, this week coming out, too. That'd be cool. Void Rivals. Oh my gosh, are they on the seventh printing on number one? That's crazy. Oh, what's going on? From Mexico. Good morning. Wow. Oh, wow. Why is this only 25 bucks? I just realized. Did they misprice that? So, wait a sec. The one in 50 Virgin variant, Addy Granoff, is 25, but then the one in 25 is 27. Does that make sense? Am I crazy here? Should I grab this? <laughs> it's only 15 bucks more than the than the this one. I'll get rid of this one and get this one. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying, dude. I think they mispriced these. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll ask Larry real quick, but I, I think that's it. Hey, yeah, I'm going to get this one. I think it's Miss Marvel. Yeah. I think it's Miss Marvel. And then I'll, uh... There were, like, 20-something printings. I think, like, 22 printings. There's Void Rivals right now. This is its seventh printing of number one. Yeah. It's getting there. Yeah, I'll put I know this one back. Um, Bone, the original Bone, had, I think, 14. Doesn't that Disney intro just make your heart melt? What are we watching today? I love how Acme's always got movies playing on in the background. <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys can hear it on stream. Oh, are you talking about this big tear thing on the bottom? Yeah. That is weird. What is that? It's like inside of the book. Oh, is there something with it? I didn't look at mine. No, it was just something weird right there. I never even seen that before. Open that up. Yeah, what is that? That's a brand new book. It might not have cut the page all the way. That might be a a uh, manufacturing defect. That's what it looks like. Either that or they left you a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Pull tab. Yeah, the page wasn't cut correctly. Wow, I've never seen that on a modern book. You see that sometimes on older ones. Wow, Second grab that, dude. Too. That's a... That's cool. Oh my gosh, it's got the page. Dude, that might be worth a couple bucks. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you know, people that are into stuff like that. It's a mis miscut book. Miscut. That's the top cover to this, I think. Or that's the, uh, I don't know what that is, but is yeah, that's a miscut book. I wonder what happened so if you sent so that into CGC. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've never seen that before in a modern what one. That's really cool, actually. You wouldn't think it would lower the grade. I mean, it's not affecting the right? book at all. It's not even part of the book. That's interesting. Comment down below. Let us know what you guys think of that. I've never seen that before. All right. Yeah, technically, that's not even... Yeah. That's cool. Philadelphia. Issue 34. Is that Savage Dragon on Philadelphia? I think so, yeah. Issue 34. We got Red Sonia. Red Sonia's got some really nice covers this week. It was a mad dash for the variants, so the, the Red Sonia variants are some of the most popular ones, it seems, every week. You got the Miles, 1 in 100. Wow, the logo cover, 1 in 100 for 50 bucks. Superior Spider-Man, issue 5, cover A and B. And here's the new Ultimate Spider-Man, issue 3. The uh, I don't know what cover was here. I forgot which one was here. You got a couple different ones. That's cool. Oh, that's a cool one in 10 there. That's cool, though. No? For nine bucks. Huh. Cool book. I always try to grab Sarah the Red Sonia's when I can. I find a cool one. Image Comics. Local Man. Bunch of different covers. Yeah, there's a lot of Spidey books this week, not including there's Spider Punk too. This is a four issue limited series on Spider Punk. So I grabbed, uh, I can't remember if I grabbed two of these or one of these. I might grab another one. But the X Men 97, number one. Yeah, a lot of Spider Man. Spider-Man's pretty similar to Batman, you know, when it comes to, like, DC and Marvel. There's a lot of titles that carry from Spider-Man into their own, like, solo and stuff like that. That's a cool cover there. I like that one. There's the Mark Brooks. Not my favorite Wolverine. It's cool, though. But I feel like if that wasn't on a Wolverine book, you wouldn't know that's Wolverine, you know? What's this one over here? Look at this. Look at that cover though. The 46 cover A. You gotta grab that. <laughs> That's so awesome. Here's the reprint. The Saber Tooth War. This has been a really fun read too. If you guys are looking for a for like a fun read. Wheel of Time, book two. What else we got? A lot of indie this week. Mandrake Pop Project. Looks like, did you grab the Edge of Spider-Verse? Yes, I did. That is actually right over here. Not as popular as I would have thought, though. Um, is this a Star Wars homage on Spider-Man? Oh, no. I thought, I, for a second, the logo got me with, like, Star... I, I thought that was Star Wars for a second. Yeah, that's an homage. But here's the, uh, the new guy, the Spooky Man. This is the cover A for it. Oh, that's a nice cover. Which one? This one? Yeah. The foil? Yeah. They do these every so often, though. It's shiny. The one in 25 is pretty cool, too. Oh, that's trippy. It's not bad. It's trippy. Yeah, that's cool. I grabbed the cover A. More of the X-Men 97 down here. Yeah, the action figure cover. 
it's just he was on one of the covers and he's like, oh, shit. There's probably the best 97 cover right there, the Rogue. This reminds me of Michael Turner. Kind of. Yeah, the Local Man covers are... Oh, is there one, two, three? Yeah, there's five of them. And then, Mach oh, no, there's three of them, and that's Machine Girl, yeah. Where's the, uh... Yeah, here's the other variant here. With the spooky man. Pretty cool cover. I did grab a bunch of books, so we'll look through everything. You think any of the characters from Edge of Spider-Verse will end up in a solo book? Probably. I mean, you know, it's all just about the fan base of the character. Look at Spider-Punk over there and stuff, and it always just depends. Here's the new Sam and Twitch. This is a must-grab right here. I grabbed one. I grabbed two of each. This is going to be good. For those of you that don't know, um, if you're into, like, movie spec at all, Todd McFarlane's been saying for the longest time that the Spawn movie he's going to do, the first one's going to be based off of Sam and Twitch. It's not going to be like a big Spawn solo movie. So who knows? They might base it off of this or something. So it's worth, worth a grab. I know they have the original Sam and Twitch from the... Uh, I forgot when it came out, like the early 2000s or something. I think it's a four-issue limited series. But this is the uh, the second time they did their series, I guess. Monstrous. Spawn. You gotta grab at least cover yeah. A, man. Is that cover A? Yeah. Spawn at all or anything. <laughs> the nasty. Mad Cave. What's selling? Everything at the comic shop sells differently. It's funny because there's so many different collectors in the world, you really don't realize it. You come to the comic book shop. Star Wars, you know, has its own collectors. You got the Street Fighter and the, the video game collectors, the people that like the anime books, the the uh, indie stuff, you know. You got Spider-Man, people that like reading the stuff from when they were kids. So, like this right here, Zorro. Sean Gordon Murphy. That's really cool. This one in 10 is pretty nice, too. I got to admit. That's a pretty cool looking Zoro. High Republic Adventures. Star Trek Defiant. Is Sam and Twitch $2.99 or more expensive? I hope it's not more expensive. Todd McFarlane would not do us like that. I don't think he would. Let's go see, though. Should I grab King Spawn? I feel like I should. The thing is, when I grab Spawn or King Spawn, I always want to grab cover A and B, so I end up going with both, you know? Let's grab both of them. You got it. All right, everybody. The new Penguin. I'm excited for the HBO series. Oh, I'm coming in very blurry. Uh-oh. Is my service okay? If the service goes out, we're going to have to end the stream. Oh, there's a hole there. It's probably that one. Someone looking for a book. Uh-oh. So I hear Jake tell him not to leave. I think that's pretty much it. Did that Spider-Man sell? What's up, man? I, I'm almost done. No, I'm almost done. Just tell him not to leave. Everybody's grabbing ultimate. Oh, hey, my friend, Zombie. Serenity Cutters. You know, that was like FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate right. Spider-Man. All right, so let's see what we got this week. I got a big old pile here for some reason. All right. Oh, look at this. It's got a remote. You guys want to press a button? I think it controls this thing. I don't know if it's going to make it move or something, though. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Oh you, oh, you press the button in it. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Whoa. <laughs> that's very cool. What does this one do? Oh, nothing. That's not a button. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see Spider-Man our service. Did we reconnect? Not sure if we lost service there for a sec. I'm going to flick through these books. Let me know. Ooh, Miles. Yeah, this is 
Legacy 300. A lot of pages. It's clear now? Okay, cool. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Scorpion. I love Scorpion, but he never gets any respect in the comics. So he's getting beat up, you know? You're good now? Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, Scorpion's always getting beat up. It's kind of like Galactus, you know? Everybody loves Galactus, but... Yeah, Galactus is the good way to show another character's, like, power level, you know? <laughs> like, when you want to make a character seem OP, just let him beat up Galactus. Yeah. So I'm going to grab cover A and this one. Yeah, right. I'm excited for the new movie. Me too. Guys, I don't know why I grabbed two of these. I only wanted one. That was a mistake. Put one of those back. New Conan. I love these Virgin variants. They do with Conan. I like the mask cover from this week. That was, that was the map cover with Conan? Yeah, there was one. Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, um, I might have wrap around to the side here. Oh, is that Conan? Yeah, it's really, and you can see where was it like, like the realm of Cull. Yeah, the reign of Cull the Conqueror. Exactly. Oh, so it's I didn't like, realize that was Conan. I, I think they're doing. Well, they're doing like a whole. It's like a universe. I don't think it. Oh, it does wrap around. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Well, here, let's. In all of its glory. Dang. That's kind of sick. And I, I like how there's like the city down at the bottom here. It's just really pretty. I've always enjoyed like map making. I, I was just about to say, I always wondered how they did that. You know, how do you start somewhere and then build out on it? I'll, ne I'll never know. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend made one for a D&D &D campaign. I don't, I, I don't know oh, that's no cool. How people even do that. You play Dungeons and Dragons? She does. I, mm. I don't know the first thing. I don't know how to do that. But she loves it. Yeah, I don't know much it about like it either. Yeah, I know some people play it for a, a long time. Oh, yeah. Campaigns yeah. can last for months. All right, Conan. Gods, let's check out Gods. It might be a black cat. Moon Knight. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I got Conan right here, and then this this is a nice grab. Mine does not have the messed up thing on the bottom. Mine looks pretty nice. Twenty five bucks. I got this one right here for eleven. Well, she pulled her princess. Like the Street Fighter comics. I didn't get the good. We we went to Regal. King Spawn Thirty Two. It's a nice cover there. We didn't get that. We only they had a Harley Quinn issue Thirty Eight. It was great. And then it has like the logo and everything. Incredible Hulk. I wanted the Slimer. Oh, I grabbed two of those too. I didn't mean to grab two of those. Grab that one. Pretty cool. I think there's a first appearance in this one. Because it's like a whatever detective. Is it? Yeah, or so, something. Those things are cool. I have the Batman when they did the. Oh, cheap man. The what you get? I just. And I have the cow. Oh, who's that? That's pretty cool. There's spoilers here. Nobody ever. Oh, you guys always get spoilers here. <laughs> really? Look at the artwork. How much was the lighter? What is that, Jackson? What is that? It is. I was playing with it earlier. The Mighty Megasaur. I don't think it's from anything. It's just. I love that they brought everybody back. And then I was like, how much is something like that? Oh, I don't know. Probably like twenty bucks. They're not. They're not. Twenty bucks. They're not super expensive. Let's see if I can find it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks, get yourself. It's not like, it's not like an on-brand, like it's not like it's Game of Thrones or something like that. If it was Game of Thrones, it'd be big bucks. <laughs> X-Men 97, I like this cover, man. Sam and Twitch. Most of the ones that this company sells are between 25 and 40. See, that's a good cop. So I'm going to put it at like 30. 30 bucks. Yeah. Wow, look at the artwork in here. This book feels really good. That's one thing, man, is these books are so nice. Hot tricks. 
hot chicks, not for me, not for cool. me, but, but he wanted one. Yeah, two ninety nine. Look at that. What? An actual two ninety nine book. Yeah. That's what we do. With good artwork. I know it's weird to see now. It's cool. Yeah, this is the cover A. Grab two of those. Spider Punk number two. Go with the limited series. I got this guy right here. First appearance of him. Spooky man. Yeah, Spooky Man, right? So spooky. No Psylocke in the 97. Yeah, I'm not sure. Try that. Oh, hard to do this with one hand. Boiler room. So they push him down the boiler room. He snaps his neck. That's kind of gruesome, huh? And then he wakes up. He looks so pasty. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a whole new Sinister Six. That's pretty cool. You got Craving instead of Craven. Sandsman. Goblin. Electroplasm. Mysterio. The Sinister Six. That's sick. First appearance of the new Sinister Six in this book. Oh, I'm going to grab another one of that then. Well, here, let's finish going through this though. I think I'm going to grab another one of these. That's cool. Now, this character seems pretty cool. He's got like a, uh, a ghost in him, it seems like. Look at the Dr. Octopus with the actual tentacles. Yeah, the Spawn book paper quality is really nice. Spawn is, is always a good pickup. There's the new Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, whoa, look at that. Look at all the different suits. Which one's your favorite? Dang, that's pretty cool. Got the classic there. Yeah, bring your friends down to America and show them a comic where America takes over Canada. <laughs> Ultimate Spider Man's a good read. Is that not the most American thing? Bullseye, there's the new Bullseye. The new shoot. He's teaming up with Green Goblin. See if anything happens at the end. See if I can get to it with one hand here. Oh, yeah, he teams up with Green Goblin. Oh, that's cool. They're, they're friends now. That's nice. That's the variant there. Wolverine issue 46. This is Sabretooth War Part 6. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't need a bag. Where we're going, we need no bags. Well, yeah, you do, because that's how they run their ships. Oh, that's the same book right there. They run, they run their uh, ships. Reprint on this garbage. one. There's the ASM 46 cover. And then here's the cover A to the ultimate. It's pretty much all we're getting this week. Not super crazy. A couple cover buys, some story pickups. Yes. Oh, you know what we're watching. What a race. What a race. Mm. Like I'm going to grab another one of these, though. Yeah, Sabretooth is not. Yeah. I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab another one of these. And I think I'm going to grab another one of these because I did get the Scotty Young number ones. And it would be cool to make, like, a set out of those, you know? I, so let's put I that was over up there. for all of it. Bring, yeah, like, I watched it live. I'm going to put this back. So we got there for now. The best book on No, no, no. There's just Did you read last issue? Like no, I haven't read it yet. I'm, I'm getting it all together, though. I heard this was a good read last. It's my favorite comic. 
bigger screen. So when it Last issue, I didn't know that. When is this coming out? The planet where all the I women just know. eat the men and then they lure more men there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What's the Power Girl cover? We'll take a look at everything one more time. Where did this come from? Though? I think it was over here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait, is that the variant? Oh, I wanted the cover A. Oh, I didn't realize this is cover A. All right, let's get cover A, actually. Let's get cover A. All right, the Power Girl is over here. Bunch of fun covers. Issue 7. Oranges. That's pretty much it, though. We got this book down here. If you guys want, we can go... Check out the local artist. Here's chapter one. The consequences. Cool. Let's see what we got on the walls. Make our way around. Anything new? Whoa, look at those. What is this? The Joker stories ever stories ever told. That's cool, aren't you, man? Some old green hornets. Number one. Thunderbolts. Spider-Man. Frontline combat. Those are good. What's up, Luke? Hope everyone's doing good. We're just getting our rounds over here at the comic shop, looking at if they got anything new on the wall. And then we're going to head out of here. We will be live tonight on Whatnot, too. 7 p.m., we're just going to do a little power hour. We got some of the books listed already, but I found a bunch of, um, like, Bronze Age horror stuff. So I'm going to run some of those, too. I don't know if I'll have time to list them or anything. And then the uh, the house sale date has been picked. So I hope we see you guys there. I'm going to grab one of these, too. Spooky man. Oh, in the UK. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't say drive that far, but... It'll be fun for sure. We got some new stuff in. How you guys doing? How's it going? Good. Just checking out what you guys got going on over here. This is your new book Larry was telling me about that you guys just dropped. Vibrance, yes. chapter one. Yeah. yeah. We got chapter one and two here. Oh, so you do have chapter two out. Yes. Yeah, yeah we got we got both of them so far. Working on chapter three. It's a work mm -hmm. in progress. Yeah. Um, it's the story of basically the one person on a magical alien world where everybody has powers. He does not. He's sort of viewed as like a ghost boogeyman type character because he doesn't register on any of their like magic detectors, so to speak. So he's kind of he's a heroic character, but everybody thinks he's going to be a villain because of that. So. Oh, cool. What made you guys come up with the idea to get your own comic book started? Well, we're sitting in the same apartment. A graphic design major, creative writing major. Both at UC 